Okay, here's the advanced patching video. Um, this is the fun part. Uh, I cut the battery clip off of mine here, and I just have power connected to power, so I can use this to power some things later. Um, and I'm just going to hook this up with a 12 volt um, power supply. So there we go, and we're on. Um, first of all, a fun thing to do is to um, take one of your audio jacks. Uh, if you saw the audio video, you saw I made a um, one of these things. Uh, I'm going to ground that and connect that to red. Um, you could connect it to any of the things, it doesn't matter. Um, and I, I don't have any uh, jumpers on any of the connections at all. And it's just connected to uh, an amplifier. And I can use a scrubby to sort of play it. Um, the noise musician's guitar pick, you know. Um, so that's a great way to annoy your neighbors. Um, that's a fun thing. Um, another little uh, device that you can make is one of these. This is a 1K pot, and it just has um, these uh, jumper wires connected to it. And you can use that in a lot of different ways. Let me show you one thing that's neat. Um, here are the color bars. I'm going to connect one of the legs of the pot to ground uh, and I'll connect the wiper, the middle, to red. Um, when you see we lost our red on the color bars, but I can fade it back in. Um, and that's what it looks like with no red um, because the red is being grounded. Or uh, here's blue, taking the blue out. You can kind of see how the color bars are constructed. And then there's green, taking the green out. Or I can connect uh, another leg and then we're sort of mixing in and mixing out um, all the colors. Um, just a fun thing to experiment with. You can play with this with oscillators too. Uh, let's get an oscillator going. Um, we got oscillator one. Um, we're going to plug that into red right on the back of our color bars. Um, now we'll take part of oscillator one with our pot. Um, and connect it to blue. And then if we turn that on, um, now we're mixing the color. We got some greenish yellow. We can connect that to blue too. See what happens. Um, we're sort of fading in between. Um, I could take this off of the oscillator. Now I just have the pot connected to um, one leg, or one part of the pot is connected to each of the colors. And as we cycle through, um, we should be getting, um, here, hold on a second. I'm going to take the middle and connect it to red and then connect the two legs to the other colors. There. Um, now we have the whole range of colors from green or yellow-ish all the way to purple. So you can use this for all sorts of things. It's a um, good thing to experiment with. Okay, what else? Um, here's a fun little hack. Uh, you can connect one of the oscillator outputs to um, the this pin of the background and it will cycle through the background colors. You want to do that as slow as possible. Um, whoops, let me make sure it's free running. Yeah, cool. And turn that down a bit. Um, so now, however fast the oscillator is going is uh, how fast the background colors are going to change. Um, you could hardwire that if you want to. That's a fun thing to mess with. Um, that's this out, outside pin right here. Um, the left one, as we're looking at it from the top. Um, that it will crash occasionally, but um, that's okay. You'll notice, too, that my board has uh, section, oscillator 2. Parts of it are missing, and it has these um, headers in there instead. That's so I can experiment with different values for pots, like um, here's a 25k pot, I could plug that in, and it's going to give me less range and more ability to fine tune. So let's hook up oscillator 2, um, whoops, it doesn't have any um, capacitors in there, so let's hook up some capacitors, we'll put in this big boy, I think that's a 220 UF. Um, there we go. 
and now that's gonna have less range. Oh, whoop, I gotta put a jumper on too. There we go. It's gonna have less range, um, but the lines are gonna be a little bit thicker. Here, let's turn that off. Whoop. We'll let it free run. Um, or I could put in a big, uh, there's a 500K, and it's going to give me a huge amount of range. Um, yeah, all sorts of crazy effects, but it's going to be very um, touchy, very sensitive. Um, so the bigger the pot, um, the more range you have, but the more sensitive. Um, and with the caps, if you put in a nice big cap there, you can get some nice, you can get some really fat lines. Uh, let's see, here's a 100 UF. That's a kind of a better choice. Oh, whoop, my pot's not in there all the way. That's the problem. Okay, cool. So you see with the 100 UF, it's giving me some um, fatter lines. With the red background, you can really see it. Um, there are like these nice thick lines. And then if we sync it. Yeah, it's a little wonky because the piece isn't making perfect contact. But you can see it's a nice big line with some um, shading in there. Okay. Um, here's a crazy technique. Um, you can see also my Vactrols, or not my Vactrols, my... Uh, uh, LDRs are on jacks, and I will show you why. Um, I have a little LED uh, board here. Um, it's just a transistor that's firing an LED. Um, you can buy these boards online, I'm sure, from some place like SparkFun. Um, I'm going to power up my LED and ground it. And then I will plug it into one of my oscillators and now um, depending on the speed of the oscillator um, it's going to fire the LED um, and we can use that in conjunction with our LDRs so let's take oscillator 6 out and plug it into blue um, there we go and we will sync that to HSync Okay. Um, also, um, a trick that you can do is I have one side of the header connected to LDR, but I'm going to connect pot um, to the oscillator itself. And now I can use the pot a little bit um, to sort of dial it in. Um, but I have this uh, LED that's flashing, and uh, if I hold it near the LDR, um, depending on the rate, I can get this nice nonlinear response, um, and that can even be synced. If I sync oscillator one that's making the LED flash, um, then we get some synchronization in there. Oh, whoop, here, that needs to be synced to vsync. There we go. Now we got a vsynced. Um, audio rate oscillator and uh, it's interacting with the LDR of oscillator 6. Um, you can, um, instead of holding it up like that, if you want um, something that's more replicatable, you can make this thing, this is a sort of, you know, the classic roll your own vac troll. I have an LDR taped to the LED with electrical tape. I'm going to pull out this LDR and plug in my uh, DIY Vactrol, right, and then power it up, ground it, and I'll get some signal back at oscillator one, um, and, oh, whoops, here, wrong one, there we go. 
Um, and now we have like these nice weird uh, synced oscillators, it's sort of like a low budget um, VCO. Um, and that's going to give us some really complex patterns.